I went from washing dishes to dyeing synthetic wigs for drug royalty like Bimini Bambulash. And here is how I did it. So just because I'm doing my wigs custom, they usually cost 100, 150. So if someone asking for lots of streaks, Rainbow Christina Aguilera, I don't know, uh, it's gonna be definitely more expensive. Our Rainbow Beauty is ready. Now we have to call Alexis and ask what she's thinking about it. Are you excited? Well, if I like it, obviously. Because if I don't, I'll throw it to the trash. We're gonna do something for my very best clients. Alexis St. Pete. Alexis would like to have pink wig with blonde roots and with uh, six rainbow streaks underneath. So first we're gonna dye the top and the front of the lace. In pink. It's an ambitious project to do seven colors on a wig. So uh, value of this wig is about 150 pounds. We go in for ombre and I'm gonna make sure the color kind of fade. I start making wigs because I realize I can't actually find what I like in a typical drag shop. I teach myself mostly from YouTube and Instagram. The yellow looks a bit like diarrhea, looks very rubbish, but when you actually put the hair in, it's gonna be beautiful and yellow. I'm using, as you see, liquid dyes. They are non-toxic, cruelty-free, completely vegan. This is beautiful orange. Now we're doing the final color of our rainbow and that is the purple let's release the beast i know she's very messy but after brushing after styling she's gonna look gorgeous alexis wants a big big curls styling the wigs takes a few hours when i'm styling something very complicated could take even two or three days growing up in poland was uh, kind of tricky because it's a very homophobic country when i came to uk i started working in a restaurant i realized i could make a good money on the wigs after finding out that basically no one doing custom dyed synthetic wigs they are better if you're a drag queen or performer because if you style synthetic wig once you're gonna stay like that forever the most famous person who get wig from me was bimini bambulash from rupaul's drag race when bimini tagged my wig on instagram the first day was basically like my instagram gonna explode the rollers are on the wig is pretty much ready to be steamed i'm gonna leave them on the head now and i need to get ready for call with my friend alexis I'm trying to reinvest the money in my business. Uh, usually I'm spending money for silly things, like uh, I'm probably spending more money for drag clothes than for my normal clothes. Jewelry, tinsels, fake expensive bags. I love this jacket. It's very heavy, but it's very camp. A bit of fire, because why not? Never too much feathers. What about hat? And I have somewhere, actually, a matching bag for it. I started doing drag after my first Pride in 2016. I look probably like a trash queen. Cheap wig and I was uh, wearing uh, flat shoes. Look at it, looks amazing. Our rainbow beauty is ready. Now we have to call Alexis and ask what she's thinking about it. I haven't seen Alexis on a FaceTime in a while. We're gonna see her reaction with her new hair. Are you excited? Oh my god, yes! If I like it, obviously. Because if I don't, I'll throw it to the trash. I'm scared. I'm always scared. Ah, oh, it's pink! <gasps> it's pink, oh it's big, and it's a rainbow. I am gagged. I'm obsessed. Happy customer, happy me as well. I would love to keep uh, making more money from uh, doing wigs. I love what I'm doing. 